Well, obviously very disappointing game. Um, offensively, just you know, once again, just so many missed opportunities, critical turnovers, uh, drops, and uh, and missed throws. Uh, just you know, we're, we are what we are right now. We're very immature, very young, uh, and very unconfident uh, offense, that's for sure. Uh, defensively, um, you know, we played a good, I thought, quarter and a half to start the game. Uh, and then we had the big bust on the throwback, uh, busted coverage there, and then they made a nice play on the third and seven sprint out touchdown, and then they come right back with a two-minute drive and, and fourth and seven, uh, get a touchdown. It's very disappointing. Uh, we didn't affect the quarterback like we needed to. Um, and then, uh, you know, eight minutes to go in the game, we couldn't get the ball back, took a knee. So um, they just kicked our butts, simple as that. But, you know, we lost everything we needed to do to win the game. We didn't do – we lost the margin. Uh, we did not make the routine plays that were there. Um, and uh, just some huge missed opportunities. You know, we got a chance to go up 14 nothing, and, and we, we don't make a play. Uh, and they come right back and score. Um, and then they get the ball back with – you know, a little bit of time, and they, they hit a fourth down touchdown uh, right there at the end of the half, which was, which was really critical. But, again, uh, didn't make the plays there, and then third down uh, was the difference. So, lost the margin, didn't make the easy plays, uh, and then third down. They were 10 of 18, and, and we were 4 of 11. So, uh, couldn't get them off the field, couldn't stay on the field, and, and we didn't affect the quarterback. Uh, you know, he's a great, great player. Uh, I tell you, he's, he's, you know, we've watched him. Obviously, we've played him now a few times. And, and uh, you know, he's just gotten better, better, better each year. Uh, so, you know, you got to give Pittsburgh a lot of credit. Uh, Coach Narduzzi, what a, what a great job they did in, in preparing their team. And, and they hung in there. They made they made the plays, uh, took advantage of, of some opportunities, um, and, uh, and found a way to win the game. And, again, the quarterback was outstanding. And, uh, but you know, again, um, we did some good things early. I mean, running the ball effectively and, and again, had a lot of things there that we just didn't capitalize on. And, um, you know, that's kind of who we are right now. Uh, so, you know, we're a 4-3 team. Uh, that's who we are. It's what we've earned. And it's incredibly disappointing. Uh, and, and I am 1,000% responsible. Uh, as simple as that. You know, it's, it's 100% on me. You know, this team's performance – uh, you know, it starts with, with, with me as the head coach, period. And, uh, you know, everybody hurts. This is a, this is a very uh, frustrating, a very painful time. We lost two more players tonight. I mean, we got about 17 scholarship guys out. It looks like Bob course towards ACL. And, man, just, just break your heart. Just breaks your heart. This kid's a fifth-year competitor. He's just given every ounce of everything he has to his team. And, you um, my heart breaks for him. Galloway separated his shoulder. He was just getting back. Uh, so, you know, we've, we've had some, we've had some, uh, uh, you know, we've had a lot of good fortune around here, a lot. And uh, this is just a, a tough time that we're going through for sure. Uh, but you know what? As I always say, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for, for the bad just as much as I am the good. Uh, it hurts right now. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, this is a, a hurting staff, a hurting football team, a hurting fan base. I mean, this is not the Clemson standard. Um, but in the long run, this will make us better. You know, uh, I do know that. And uh, it's my job to get us better. We'll show back up on Monday and get back to work and see if we can just find a way to you know, go win the next one. That's what that's what we have an opportunity to do. And I'm uh, thankful for that. But we do have another opportunity and we'll put everything we got in it and just keep, keep finding and find a way to win a game uh, next week. So, um and with that, I'll take your questions. Hey, Coach, it's Trevor Gross from ZTuggers.com. Um, I've never seen a, a pick six on a shovel pass like that before, but um, bringing Tyson in, was it did, was it just the right moment to, to give him a chance, or was it more of a disciplinary thing for DJ? And I, I gather that uh, you were probably pleased with the way DJ responded when he did come back in. Yeah, you know, it was just – I thought he – we had a couple of bad plays in a row, you know, right before the half, you know, ball probably should have been picked and, and ball, you know, it was, it was, you know, it was not the right coverage to throw the ball over there. We kind of forced the ball and, and then we come back and we pick six. And I just felt like I needed to give Tyson a chance, you know, um, 
So, and I thought Tyson came in and did some good things and, and uh, let us down to a field goal there. It was positive. And, um, but, you know, they ate the clock up and, you know, we couldn't get the ball back. And next thing you know, it's a couple field goals and get down a couple scores and we got to throw the ball. Um, you know, it felt like DJ would give us the best chance there. Certainly he's had the most work and, he's, you know, he can, you know, he's, he's you know, really has, um, um, you know, shown in a two-minute situation to, to give us the best chance. So we put him back in there and you're right. I thought he responded well. I really do. I, uh, I thought he, you know, he could have sat over and pouted. He didn't. He responded well and he took us right down the field for a touchdown. And it's, you know, a 10 point game, with eight minutes to go. And again, you know, uh, if you don't have the, the pick six, it's, it's 20 to 17. And, you know, things are kind of different, but uh, that's probably the biggest disappointment, uh, you know, is, is there's eight minutes and we got three timeouts and, and um, they took a knee. They took a knee. Uh, never got the ball back. So, but I, I am proud of DJ for, you know, how he went in and responded on that drive and, and, um, we're just disappointed that we didn't get a chance to get it back and uh, see what he could do. But uh, at the end of the day, really, really uh, just poor performance and all the way around. Dad, but this is Larry Williams. Uh, what? So what's your, I guess, uh, position on the quarterback, uh, the starting quarterback now? Is that like an open competition moving forward or is it DJ's job still? Uh, I think everything's under evaluation at this point. You know, at 4-3 where we are, um, I think everybody's got to show up learning every single day. And, and uh, you know, we, we've just got to take it one day at a time and uh, we'll, we'll go to practice and see who has the best practice and uh, we'll figure out who's going to run out there first at every position. And, um, again, do everything we can to try to find a way to win a game. Debo, with Braden, is that a season-ending injury? I, you know, I'm not sure. Probably. Most likely, but I, I I can't confirm that right now. You know, you got five weeks left. Uh, you know, it, it, we'll, we'll see. Hey, Dabo, David, I, I, how much of of the the problems for DJ do you think are are confidence issues versus execution issues? Like, has it has it kind of compounded the struggles as as they've grown, as they've continued or do you think it's just a matter of like the execution's got to get better it's not really a mindset thing uh i think it's a little bit of everything uh, but you know he his last two games have been his best two games i mean he played he, he did some you know he had played his best game in the bc game uh but it's kind of same thing you know we 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 dropped some easy balls and we missed some easy throws in that game and we really could have put that game away um and uh, but then he comes back in the Syracuse game and he played really well. Uh, he, he, he missed a couple, but but he really played well uh, with his arm, his mind, and his legs. And I thought it was his best game at Syracuse. And he was very encouraged with that. Uh, but once again, we missed some we missed some we missed some plays. Uh, we had some critical missed opportunities and some and some drops that could have kind of extended put that game away. And uh, that's the frustrating thing about where we are. And then tonight, I mean, um, I thought Tony had a great plan. Um, and, you know, he gave him a chance to win the game. But, you know, you, you just you just need – you just – you got to find some rhythm. And, uh, again, the first touchdown, we had a touchdown throw to Bo Collins. And, uh, you know, it was a poor throw. Ball's behind me and he beats him. And it's an over, just a little post throw, a little post go. And, and the ball was kind of put behind him. And so we had to kind of stop. He got in there late and knocked it out. So just misplay. And we had a couple of drops. Um, and then obviously the play to Shipley, I mean, he makes a beautiful throw. Um, and that's a, I mean, that's a walk-in touchdown. Um, and you're going to be up 14-0. Um, instead, we have to punt. And then they go on the long drive and score, tie it up, and get the ball back a couple minutes and score again on fourth down. So, you know, it's just a combination of, of uh, uh, again, just, you know, immaturity, uh, youth, uh, lack of confidence, you know, and, and all those things affect your rhythm. And, and uh, but the kids, you know, they're trying hard and we're just, we're just not very good right now. Um, 
But I believe in these guys. I, I believe in our coaches. And, um, you know, we'll just – we got to we gotta keep grinding. And, again, um, I think you got to have good perspective. And I, that's, I'm thankful for perspective. Um, this is, this is a, a really bad stretch that we're in, really bad stretch. Um, but I do know that every storm runs out of water eventually. And uh, we're kind of in, in a storm right now. There's no doubt. It's, it's, it's nobody's fault but mine. Um, but in the long run, this will make us better. And I do know that as well. Uh, and I know nobody wants to hear that. You know, we're supposed to win every game and, and all that, and I get it. Uh, but you know, we've 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 had a lot of winning around here, and we're we're in a we're in a we're in a tough stretch right now. And uh, but it will make us better. It will make us better. We'll grow from it, and uh, we'll look back on this in a few years and and uh, and see the you know see the fruits from from this uh, this moment that we're in. Hey, coach, it's David Hood. Touching on that perspective uh, motif right there, obviously people on social media, would, they want sweeping changes today. Bench the quarterback, fire Tony Elliott, uh, fire the offensive line coach. What is your message to everybody that, that you know says, hey, just break it all down immediately and start over? Yeah, well, you know, those were a lot of the same people that probably wanted me fired after the first couple of years, you know, only my strength coach fired, and, you know, all those things. I, I, if I start running this program by listening to the people outside, then I'll, I'll probably be one of them pretty quick. Um, you know, um, uh, hopefully if I've done anything, I've demonstrated over you know, 13 years as a head coach. Uh, I think we've been a model of consistency and um, uh, on and off the field, you know, and uh, so – you know, hopefully, uh, uh, you know, like I said, we, we've, we've earned a little bit of trust. Um, and again, I, I, I have every right to be disappointed. I, I'm, I'm disappointed. Everybody's disappointed. I'm sick to my stomach. Uh, um, it's just, this has been a long time since I've been in a situation like this. Uh, but I do, I have been in situations like this. And I know what we're made of. I know what I'm made of. And I know what these kids are made of. And, and we will grow through it. Um, we will, and you know, we'll get back to winning some ball games, and, and uh, you know, hopefully that'll make us appreciate it even more uh, when we get to the get back to that that, that time because it's coming. Um, and again, we continue to to get better, continue to recruit, uh, continue to you know get some players back, and you know, I'm not making any excuses. We got a lot of guys that aren't with us, uh, and that eventually we'll get back. And again. Uh, in the long run, we'll look back on this this really disappointing time, and uh, just like I can look back on some other disappointing times over the last 13 years, and I can see how we grew from it. Uh, and that's always a choice. Now, for me, it's I'll show back up tomorrow and, and, and get back at it. Uh, there's no quit uh, in me. There's no quit in this staff. Um, and uh, you know. We're going to focus on trying to, to win this game this week. That's all we can do. Dabo, this is, this is Larry. Do, do you think, sort of following up on that, do you think that this is just one of those freaky years where all kinds of factors are, are, are going against you and you chalk it up to that? Or do you think that, that you can get better without making sort of structural staff changes, anything like that? Is that something you're, you're considering? Absolutely not. Uh, we have a great staff um, that that I believe in wholeheartedly, um, and uh, you know we all got to do a better job starting with me. But uh, it's definitely a, a year that I really it's hard to explain. I mean it's it, it's it's just crazy. Um, you know what we have dealt with, and um, you know. But again. Nobody wants to hear that, uh, but but I again I've got a, I'm here every day and I've got a very uh, good perspective and a front row seat to uh, the issues that we have, and um, you know I know the type of people that we have involved. And, uh, you know, man, I, I I believe in our staff. Um, I love our kids, and you know we'll keep pushing through. Anything else for Coach Sweeney? 
Dabo, this is Grace with The Athletic. Um, you said earlier that it was all on you. I guess what how, can you just elaborate on that a little bit more and what you specifically well, feel like you'd like to do better? Well, the team's performance is, is I'm responsible for that. So uh, I got to somehow got to find a way to, to help them, uh, you know, be more confident, you know, make those plays that are there. Uh, it's, I can't really do anything about injuries, you know. I mean, it's some of the craziest stuff that I've ever been a part of, ever. Um, and uh, since I've been in college football, it's just the, it's just crazy. Uh, some of the things we dealt with, but you know, it just uh, again, you got to just know that it's all good in the long run. Um, and we've had so many unbelievable moments and years where nobody got hurt. And you know, this year again, I, I, you know, counting Bach and Galloway, I think it was seventeen guys unavailable. Uh, five scholarship receivers out tonight. I see our. Uh, we got guys all over the place, but you know, I still think we have enough to win, and we have we just we're just again young and immature and, and not very confident and uh, not playing with any type of precision, uh, and that's that's my responsibility. So uh, is to take what we have and go win. That's my responsibility, and and I've done a poor job of that. So uh, I got to find a way to get us better. Yeah, well, this is Larry again. You mentioned y'all had some running success uh, early on, and I was curious. Um, y'all seem to go away from that, and I'm wondering whether that was a function of Pitt sort of gearing its numbers to stop the run, or whether maybe y'all did get away from it a little too, a little too much at some point. Uh, you know, we'll evaluate that once we go through the go through the tape. But I, I, I thought Tony called a great game. I thought he, he had a good plan. Um, again. We, we just didn't – we didn't take advantage of the opportunities. You're not going to win if you don't make the routine plays. And uh, we knew we were going to have to make a few more competitive plays than we did and, and then take care of the football. Uh, it was critical, too critical. When we're going in to score there on the first interception. And, uh, so just some critical mistakes, but, uh, you know, and some of it was some RPO stuff. But I thought Tony did a good job. I thought he had a heck of a plan. And, um, you know, we just didn't get it done. We'll take one or two more for coach. Hey, Dabo, it's Alexis from the state. Um, I'm talking before you mentioned kind of that 2014 season and how you're able to kind of turn things around. I believe that's the last time y'all have lost three regular season games as well. So is what do you take from that season? Maybe, or is there anything you can take from that season to kind of help these guys? Obviously, a lot has happened since then, but is there anything that you can kind of look at that season to maybe help these guys this year? Yeah, yeah, not just that season, but, you know, life uh and uh and, and really you know my whole career here at clemson um you know you just you go back to work you put your eyes forward and uh, you own it uh, you learn from it and you keep trying to get better um uh, but certainly you know uh, that team lost three games but uh, did something about it i mean we're four and three and again you, you know it's you really it's, it's not that you're four and three it's how you respond to that you know, that's ultimately what's going to matter. You know, what do we do? Do we do something about it or do we just, you know, lay down and quit? Um, and that's that ain't never going to be my, my, my nature there. I mean, we're going to, we're going to go back to work tomorrow you know, and put our eyes forward. That's what we focus on, what we can control. And, uh, you know, try to put the guys in place to, that we've got, you know, hopefully we'll get a couple of guys back this week and uh, try, try to go win the next game. But that's what that team did in 14. We just went back to work, and, you know, we, we our best player got hurt that year, but we found a way to uh, win, go 9-3, and, and then we won the bowl game. So you know, this team still has an opportunity to finish on a positive note, uh, but we're going to have to play a lot better. You know, we got to play better. we gotta, we got we to gotta all take ownership. And um, But, again, it's, it's, it's my responsibility. Uh, and um, I'm going to do everything I can to, to help us finish strong. We'll take one more if anybody has one. Dabo uh, Brown, Clemson SI. Do you have any update on uh, how long uh, Joseph and God will be in protocol and then any update on Frank Ladson? Yeah, Ladson's done for the year. Uh, he, uh, he had to have surgery on his groin uh, on Thursday. So he's done for the year, um, which is just, it just, it's just so disappointing for that young man. Uh, you know, 
go. He's really played as a freshman, and then last year he, he you know, wasn't available very much. Uh, ended up having to have surgery on his uh, left side of his groin, and then uh, played a couple games this year, and now he's out for the year. So, uh, Joe, I, you know, hopefully we get him back this week. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see uh, where he is. Uh, same thing with EJ. You know, hopefully we'll get him back, but I don't know where he's going to be on Monday. Um, and uh, obviously, Will Taylor's out for the year, and Inspector has been out for for all of the year as well. So uh, definitely been down a lot of guys, uh, but as I said many times, we still got enough to to win, and it's our job to, to get it out of them. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank okay. you, everybody.